everybody it's nicole coming at you with a quick little dollar tree haul um went in dollar tree um looking for some of the stuff that you ladies have been hauling and of course my dollar tree hadn't gotten them in yet or we may not get them but i was looking for like the washi tape and some people have been hauling these new um like spring and summertime floral dishes i was looking for those um and just a few other products i did find one that i was looking for um but not a whole lot of stuff um so let's get started really quick um i picked up some of these puffs um tissues um I always keep these around, especially up here in the Diva area. Um, I always use tissue, so I got some of that. And of course, puffs for a dollar, you can't beat it. Okay, in their like section in the front where they get all the seasonal um, colorful items, the baskets and the containers and things like that, I found this cute little beverage dispenser. They had these in all different colors, the blues, the greens, the oranges, and... Um, uh, I think it was in another color. I can't remember. But anyway, this is a nice personal size beverage container. But I didn't get it for beverages. I actually got it for my craft space because sometimes I need to use water in things or have some water on hand. And I think this is a perfect um, way to store it. You know, it has a top so, you know dust or lint or anything won't get in it and it'll just keep it sealed and it's a nice you know way to just dispense it into uh whatever i need it for um so yeah i thought that was cool and it's you know it's a little thin <laughs> kind of flimsy but it's perfect for what i need it for so yeah nice little screw top and so forth so i got that then I picked up some of these little baskets. Um, again, this is going in my makeup drawer. I have a lot of like loose shadows and pigments and things like that and jewelry too um, that I'm going to put in these. Um, I didn't care about the color. They again came in the same colors, white, red, green, uh, blue orange so you can find them in a lot of colors and i think it's like their bonus days or something where you get more bang for your buck so to speak because you get four in it instead of three and a lot of the containers and things that you get normally two you might get three or you know um one you might get two so it's a good time to shop at dollar tree so i got those and then I have been looking for these for the longest time. I stumbled across one last year. It was just one lone pot holder um, in Dollar Tree, but it's the neoprene pot holders. They look like this. They have the little um, silicone or rubber back, and then it has the you know front pocket, you know whatever. I like these. These are nice for a dollar. They finally got in a couple colors. The one that I got last year was that sort of dark burgundy or red color and I wanted two of those um, but they had this green they had brown I've seen it in black um, but that's it I hadn't seen it in any other colors but my store got in a few when I tell you it was a few it was like three maybe of you know one and two of another color or whatever so I got this because I actually have the pot holder the other pot holders in the um, oven mitt that matches this so i got that and i hopefully if i go back in and they still have some i'll grab some more okay so then i got some of this uh these packs of or a pack of floral foam um you get 10 in there i want to try this in my cutting machines my silhouette and my uh curio and these are just testers just to see how well it'll cut um but yeah i got that as well and then I picked up some of these glue tapes and they look like this. I got one from, where was I, Michael's. And then I saw these, they were two for a dollar and that one was a dollar in Michael's, but you probably get more product in that one. Did, well, no, cause it said it was nine feet in that one. You get more product. Well, no, I take that back. It's probably a combination altogether of nine feet in these versus nine in that one that I got from Michael so pretty much same deal there so I got those and they finally got in more of the glitter glue sticks the mini glue sticks so I got a pack of those just to have these are nice for a dollar 
And then I saw these fastener dots. I hadn't seen these before in my Dollar Tree. And they're just little Velcro rounds, little Velcro dots, a little sticky back. And I was going to try this on um, a placemat bag. I found a placemat in Walmart. I don't know if I hauled it. I probably did. And I don't remember how long ago. But I'm going to try it on that one to see how I like this versus using the metal fasteners just to try it out and see okay i was looking for um and actually did i bring it over here i don't even see it i don't think i did they are the yeah they're over there the plastic storage containers that everybody's getting the little ones that you put beads and you know little trinkets and stuff in they actually got those in so i got two of those i hate i didn't bring them over here so sorry about that y'all but you know what they are they're just little storage containers okay so anyway looking for i was rather looking for the gooseberry patch um books i think there were some christmas themed ones and uh dessert ones or something like that that i've seen people haul and you know dollar tree each one of them gets various different things or whatever so i didn't see those books but i did see some other books that i just could not leave <laughs> so let me show you what i got I got Bread Machine Magic. Super excited that I saw this book because I do have a bread machine and I have maybe one other um, bread machine cookbook and it's not this vast, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, this one is called The Bread Machine Magic by Linda Reberg and Lois Conway and it's got 139 recipes so I cannot wait to try this. Um, Bread's fairly, I wouldn't say expensive, it's fairly inexpensive in the stores, but when you start stepping up with the specialty breads and things like that, it can go up in price. And I know Publix has one bread, the seven grain multi bread, I think it's called. I love it, and I wanted to try to make my own, and they have a similar recipe in here, so I'm going to try that out. So I picked that up. And then I got The Art of Cake. And this one is by Bruce Healy and Paul Bagat. I'm assuming <laughs> that's how you pronounce it. And it's huge. It's The Art of Cake, Modern French Baking and Decorating. So that's what it looks like. You see how big this book is? <laughs> and I love it. I used to and still do on occasion bake cakes i do wedding cakes and things like that but people don't want to pay and they're too time consuming for me to be doing all that so i'm like screw it you know if somebody wants one or a relative or something fine but mm -mm. And people want to, uh, you know, and I, my experience was people want these humongous, beautiful, detailed cakes, but then they don't want to pay for, um, you know, creating these things or whatever, you know, so uh, uh, to keep me from tagging that head for not spending, you know, paying for what I'm doing, you know, just let me <laughs> just step away from that. So anyway, I love cake making, so I got this book. That was my little rant. <laughs> okay, so another book I got was this one. It's The Food of Malaysia. I love any kind of ethnic foods. Okay, this is Authentic Recipes from the Crossroads of Asia. So, got that one. I can't wait to try this one. Woo! It's got some super recipes in here. So, yeah, I love the pictures. Any kind of book with pictures, I'm just a sucker. But, yeah. I got that one. And again, I'm thinking ahead to the fair. <laughs> you know, my little competition in October. Well, actually November, I think it was this time. Yeah, I moved up to November. Anyway, I'm rambling. And I think this is the last one. Yeah, the last one I got is called Dinners Ready. And this says, turn a single meal into a week of dinners. And it's by Andrew Sloss um with ken bookman and what you do or what the book's about is you create like more than enough on sunday for one that particular meal and then you could like spin off of it throughout the rest of the week creating other dishes so this is what it looks like and i thought this was super interesting and what i'm planning on doing i think is trying out one of the um 
weekly recipes and seeing just how far it goes or if you know it actually works out like it's intended in the book and doing a video you know series on that so yeah and that's what it looks like so yeah that is my little Dollar Tree haul sorry I didn't have the little containers but if y'all watch all the Dollar Tree hauls that I've seen y'all have seen those little you know rectangular like containers so anywho if you have any questions like i always say <laughs> leave them below about any of this stuff don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more hauls because it seems like lately all i've been doing is hauling but i've got other videos coming so don't worry um yeah follow me on instagram and on twitter that information will be below as well and i'm also going to put my blog information down there too i've revamped my blog and i'm you know trying to post over there and stuff as well a little different you know post than you'd see on my youtube channel so please follow my blog as well and again until my next video i'll see you then bye don't forget to thumbs up comment share and subscribe thanks for watching Mwah.